All right, folks, welcome back. So if you liked this and you want to know more about the 1.9 update and you want to see all of the tools in the 1.9 update used in a totally free course, go ahead and check out the link below for a free course on Affinity Photo 1.9, where we show you how to apply all of the updates. All right, on behalf of the Seven Season Studios, thank you so much for taking the journey with us, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, folks, and welcome back. This is an update from the 1.9 version of Affinity Photo. This is something that we've been asking for for a while, and this goes into our lessons with adjustment or what I'll call, let's call them live filter layers for the proper term. So this is Liquify. Now, depending on where you are in the course, Liquify has its own persona up here. We're going to cover this. Now, the reason why this is so important, Liquify has historically been a destructive operation. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. You see, it's asking me to select a pixel layer. Now, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this, and we're going to bring it up, and I'm going to take this pixel layer into Liquify. All right, now, see it's an image layer? I've got to rasterize it. And Liquify. Now, let's beat this to death here. We're going to take it and we're going to distort it terribly, right? So now, I apply it. This is a destructive operation. This thing is done. You can't go back and do it. If I bring it back in, now I'm modifying it from this point. All right. So, that's what was. Now, let's take a look at what is. If you go to Layer, you come over to Live Filter Layer, and you go to distortion. There's a new live filter right here called liquify. All right, now this looks an awful lot like the place we were just in, right? What this has is a mesh associated and you have a brush with size, hardness, opacity, and speed. Speed is how aggressively it does these operations and you can always come back and reconstruct the mesh to zero. So these are all operations that are currently in Liquify. Let's say that I want to distort this water. I'm going to come in and I'm just going to take this and I'm going to pull this down a little way. See how I kind of am moving the mesh down? Now if I want it to be more aggressive, I can. Okay. So we can pull this down. Now watch this. You see how it starts to really change? And if you go far enough, which is right here, you start to destroy the mesh because you can't stretch it indefinitely. The mesh is going to fill this in with pixels and try to figure out what you want it to do. Now, if you go too far, you can always reconstruct the mesh. Now watch this. As I push this slider back, the mesh gets better. All right, so the point here, let's say that I want to take this and I want to make this rose a little bit more pronounced. So I'm going to come into here and I'm going to go to my tool here. Let's bring this up. Now, I'm just tapping on the liquify pinch tool and it's moved the rose up to make it a little more pronounced. Now over here on this, I'm also going to do the same thing. Okay. And I'll do the same thing for that drop right there. Now, when I'm done, check this out. This, my friends, is now a filter. So it's above the stack. Now watch this. If I take the pixel layer, which was my drop, now you remember I disposed, or I should say distorted it. Watch this. If I move it up above the liquify layer, it shifts. If I take the rows up above the liquefied layer, it shifts back. So what this does, in effect, folks, is whatever is above the liquify layer will change. 
Now, if you ever want to come back, and this is one of the cool things about it, come back into Liquify, and it remembers where you were. So now, if I wanna go ahead and punch this up just a little bit, let's go ahead and move that up a little bit, and kind of reconstruct the mesh. Let's go ahead and push this a little bit that way. Let's go extreme. There we go. Maybe I like the way that looks. Done. So this was a huge filter released in 1.9. It brings in non-destructive liquefy operations. And if you haven't explored that section of the course yet, this is a great way to get the introduction to the liquefy persona. The liquefy persona is destructive. This is forgiving. This is non-destructive workflow. All right, folks, hope you learned a little bit about this. Let's go ahead and get into the next one.